with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, today it felt like we jumped right from July into September, maybe even early October out there this afternoon. You know what? We were within one degree of setting a record low high. What does that mean? Well, our high of 75 today was within one degree of being the coolest it's ever been on this date going back in the record. So that just gives you an idea of how unseasonably cool this afternoon was. And we weren't the only ones. All across the Great Lakes and the Ohio Valley, all the way down into the deep south, temperatures barely made it. Into the 80s this afternoon. That's how you know it's going to be another unseasonably cool night, too, coming up. Outside right now, temperatures are already down into the upper 50s across the area. And compared to 24 hours ago, while it doesn't seem like much, temperatures are running about 10 to 12 degrees colder for most of us out there. And with that in mind, that's how you know it's going to be a cool night coming up tonight. All right, let me show you the weather map here. Basically, we've had a pretty brisk northwesterly breeze all afternoon, really helping to funnel in the cool air. Here's that cold front that came through yesterday. It's plowing its way through the Gulf Coast states tonight. Now, underneath this area of low pressure is the core of cool air, and that is important for tomorrow's forecast, and I'll explain why here in just a moment. Look at the temperatures across the Midwest. Already down to 57 in Fort Wayne, 60 in Indianapolis, 65 in Louisville. This is extremely comfortable for this time of the year. And you know it's a cool start when you're already down into the 50s at 11 o'clock here in mid July. We've got a west wind at about 6. Think back to some of those hotter July days when temperatures were still around 90 at this hour. That gives you an idea of how cool it is tonight. Typically, with cold fronts in the middle of the summer, especially in the month of July, you get cool air with them, or should I say dry air. But in this case, we're not only getting dry air, but we're also getting very cool temperatures as well. And look at the numbers already down the 50s. 57 in Harrison, 57 in Hamilton, too, 58 in Oxford, pair of 59s there, VV, Warsaw, Owington, 58 in Peebles. Again, more like September than I would say the middle of July. Now, most areas tonight will drop to between 50 and 55. The record low for tonight is 52. The problem is, I think there will be just enough wind most of the night to prevent temperatures from being able to bottom all the way out. Typically, when you get these unseasonably cool air masses, usually the wind won't go completely. Completely calm. So unless it's really cold, or should I say the dead of winter, it's kind of hard to set record lows. Now, with that in mind, tomorrow will be another unseasonably cool afternoon. We'll see our afternoon highs make it into the 70 to 75 degree range for many of us from about 72 in Oxford, Dillsboro 75, 74 Mount Orb, Wilmington at 73, a couple of pairs of 74s there, Springboro, Hamilton, and over towards Mason. So here's a look at future cast. Tomorrow should be a decent day. We'll wake up to some sunshine, but because it's July again and we've got that sun angle very high up in the sky, we're going to get a big difference in temperature between the ground and up where the clouds reside. So afternoon into the early evening, I do think there will be a few spotty showers around. They won't be terribly heavy. They'll only last five or six minutes, but there'll be a few of them around, and then we'll go back into a clear, cool night for tomorrow night again. 56 will be the low tonight underneath a few clouds. It'll be cool. Tomorrow, expect partly cloudy skies, cool. Possibility of a stray shower out there, 75 for your high. Here's a look at your day planner. We'll start out the morning at 57, climbing up close to 70 by lunchtime, low to mid-70s for the afternoon. It stays unseasonably cool around here through Friday. As we get into the weekend, humidity builds. So will the threat for some pop-up showers as we get into Saturday and Sunday. All right, Kev.